Hello, friends, and welcome back to the archives for the, re the second week of finishing off old playthrough. Yes, this week is dedicated to Chicken Police Paint in Red. You have a full five, to maybe six days, depending on how long the game is, of just Chicken Police. And then next week, we'll be finishing up God of War Ascension. So, let's go ahead and continue. See where I left off. Last time we interrogated Zip here. I have no idea what this is. It's a wristband. I see the same thing as you. This was the only thing left of the dead body. And me, you know me, they don't call me sticky fingers for nothing. That's right, the trash man stole a wristband from the dead body that he just buried. So you just It's all coming back to me now. Maybe for some blackmailing? Who knows? Maybe it just hurt my sense of justice. I wanted to know who I buried. Really, you're just getting nosy now. You're a real bastard, Zip. A real first grade bastard. And I fully agree. Should I say thanks? Thanks. Just lay low, Zip. Real low. Thanks for the advice. This is why they were trying to kidnap you and kill you, you know that? You knew too much. So, where to next? Where did that wristband come from? Good question. I have no idea. I got bad news, Marty. I only know one person who knows about medical stuff. Dr. Boobo. Oh, no. We were just there. I was sucking up, Marty. Sorry, partner. Boobo again. Okay, so we've already talked to everyone else. Hey, uh, Bosco. Oh. Get lost, sonny. Can't you see I'm talking to Monica? Aw, oh, adorable. That's why that was a distraction. Blood? Do I risk it? Yep. A busy day, sir. Sonny, you think I'm just joking, right? Speak to me one more time. And I'll fire your ass. But I'm so close to retirement, you can't get rid of me. Understood, sir. Sorry. I hope this doesn't count. Get the fuck out of my sight, Santa. <laughs> uh, yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Not gonna happen again, sir. Did anyone ever tell you you're a real pain in the ass, Sonny? Only my mother, sir. I don't really understand. It's like half the language of this game. They try to censor so much with like little witty, you know, animal remarks, you know, cluck off and so. And then you go on to oh, time event, time event, time event. Oh, Bubbles place. Let me see. That's more story. I don't know what should be here. Swaltering Isle. Now oh, she wants to eat us. Let's try the... Uh... Oh! How's it going, Lewis? If you see anything interesting, will you tell us, pal? Of course, Sonny! I'll keep my eyes and ears open. Great. Thanks, buddy. I like Lewis. He's a nice person. You can bunk at the Atlas with Lewis for a while, Mort. But, uh... Tell me, Sonny boy. Leave that little chihuahua. Or we'll have to pay him a visit and strangle the little rat. Huh. Oh, and finally, visit the hospice, okay? They're gonna help you there. <sighs> okay. You convinced me, buddy. Yeah, he does I'll need do help. It. Both? Both. Just uh, leave me alone, okay? Okay, so yeah, we <laughs> were here. Take care, Just lizard, making sure there's something new or interesting that I need yes. to look for. Two Even ladies. looking at them makes me tired. Okay, nothing here. So yeah, I think we'll just go on through to Bubo's place, cause what could go wrong? Hello, Ursula. Like, ah, ah, ah. Oh, oh, what's the rush? Is there something wrong? 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 That dim-witted, insane, ragged old stinky owl. That's what's wrong. Oh, oh, it's all right, Ursula. Just tell us what happened. Yeah, what the hell? What happened? You happened. And Wester's goons. It was supposed to be the only day of the year we could have relaxed a little. We're sorry, Ursula. You're hey, right. on the honeymoon? Like I care, Marty. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of the bitter old owl, and I'm tired of waiting. For what? And? Never mind. I'm going. This time, I'm going for good. Hang in there. I thought I was going to say a bear wearing earrings. anything we can do to help. Anything? Of course there is, my dear. I 
never want to see your faces again. Why all the hate? We just got here. I'm going to try to talk to the old owl, all right? <laughs> Good luck with that. Oh, and uh, Ursula, thanks for all you've done for us with the car. Thank you. Don't kill us. Don't kill us. You know, I'm starting to regret it. That was... Intense. Rough. Yeah. But understandable. I only see Bubo once a year, and <laughs> even that's way too much. Yeah. A lot of people feel the same about us. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Are we just that terrible people? Let me see anything Do you know here? the Night Owl Blues, Bubo? Are you trying to wind me up, McChicken? Not for the world. I want to see if the owl knows how to play piano. Let me see. What the? What happened from that? I was never so scared as when I was lying here and you were leaning over me, Doc. Do you mean that time when McChicken shot you? Right in the ass. Yeah. That was a night to remember. Ah, don't even mention it. Good old days. Okay, yeah, we gotta start questioning you now. Let me Do see. you think he's broken oh. up about it? Damn it. Bubo? You mean because of Ursula? I don't think so. He's too proud ever to admit he was wrong. Wait, are, are we like she's mad at him? Is it awful? Okay, are we home records now? Deep down inside. Oh, I don't want to think know we what's are. deep down inside of Bubo, Marty. Okay, uh, what's speak. up, Doc? Somehow we guessed we'd find you still awake. He's a night owl. Stop it? playing innocent. Ha, 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 ha. I've heard that little intermezzo. I have. We're very oh. sorry, Bubo. I'm sure she'll come back. When she cools down and, you know, tears apart somebody else? Of course she'll come back. She loves me. I don't know why. <laughs> the look and on she's his afraid face. that I'll drink myself to death once she's gone for good. She is not wrong about that. What do you want? Haven't you caused enough trouble already? Not in the slightest. You have not been saying what we've been doing today. We're here for some information. Then we'll be out of your hair. I mean, feathers. Oh, good. Okay. Maybe. So what do you want? And be quick about it. Time to start asking questions. Ursula! Say, Bubo, about Ursula. What about her? Well, that's just it. What if she's not coming back? I'm a little worried about you, Doc. And you know that's not my style. Because I love no man but myself. Well, don't worry, boys. The wind's blowing. The sun's shining. And why are you still pointing? And Ursula always comes back. Exactly. exactly. There are things in the universe that are unchangeable. Touching, but you should be prepared for the worst. I thought Molly was coming back too, you know. Ow! Oh, yeah. Oh, now I'm sad again. I trust Ursula, Sonny. What else can I do? Well, to be honest, that's all you can do. Okay, strange wristband. What do you know about this wristband, Bubo? Zip said they gave these to patients in hospitals. That's why we came back to you. Hmm. Something similar, yes, but not exactly the same. It's different. How and, so? And what? Well, what do you think? Where's this from? How the hoot would I know, Sonny? Say, what am I, some kind of psychic? That I put my hands on it and tell you? If you think that would help. Okay, let's try another approach. Do you have any idea why Wessler's men were looking for Zip so hard? I don't. How should I know? Why should I care? Okay, he does have a point, actually. He had to hide a body. The body of someone Wessler killed. The wristband is from the corpse. Really? Hmm. Yeah. And like a bell, old owl. Well, boys, if I'm right, you're in deep shit. <laughs> That'll be an like improvement. It. We've been shot at. We've been almost burned alive on a boat. Tell us, Bubo. So, Wessler, the wristband, 
and a corpse, huh? He looks very much like I know the connection. <laughs> or at least I have a hunch. The body belongs to... <sighs> Out with it, Owlface. The cat! Okay, don't peck me, chickens. Hobart Ibn Wessler has a relative who happens to be a resident at an insane asylum. The band ah. is very likely from there. Wait, a relative? What kind of relative? Yeah. You don't know? I thought you were the detectives. <laughs> anyway, Ibn Wessler has a twin brother, Albert. Say what again? Albert Wessler. Mm, you put it together very skillfully, Marty. Yes, Albert Wessler. He's a madman kept in solitary confinement. I keep reading that as Albert Wesker, and I remember this is not Resident Evil. Do you think he's the corpse? But why? How the hell should I know that? I thought it was how the hoot. Thanks, Bubo. If what you told us is true, then this time we'll owe you one. Will wonders never cease? The look on the owl's face is how I feel almost every other day. So, Albert Wessler. Which asylum do you mean, Bubo? It's got some fancy long name I don't remember, but I have a brochure. Let me find it for you. Thanks, Bubo. Well, here it is. Let there be peace forever. Mental institution for ill and damaged minds. Quite a big Okay, someone for the clinically nervous. Where can we find it? I've never heard of it. It's a good six hour drive from Clawville. Maybe more. But you'll find everything in the brochure. Oh, yay, another road trip. Oh, hopefully You're I don't get best, shot Bubo. this time. You finally proved useful. Whew, finally? Now get your chicken scratchers out of here while I'm asking nicely. Just one more thing. Uh-oh. What's that, Bubo? If that someone was really Albert Wessler, the trouble's bigger than you think. Why would that be exactly? It's always bigger than we think, Bubo. We're used to it. We don't play small, we play big. You don't understand. Ibn Wessler never loved and respected anyone in his life like he did his brother Albert. So what? If he killed him, he respects nobody. Then the problem's bigger than we thought. A cornered rat bites. Well, thanks for worrying about us, Doc. But there's no way back from here. Too far, too late. And this all started with a small threat. We're like hounds, old man. Once we've caught someone's leg, we never let it go. With his teeth or with... Never mind. Hmm. Not while you're alive, eh? Yeah, exactly. Well, goodbye then, fellas. And I wouldn't mind if you never visited me again. Well, if it's shot again, burned again, or even mildly maimed, we'll come back to you. The pleasure was all ours, Doc. But I have questions. There's another question I have. Zip is a rat. That rat you mentioned was Zip. The trash panda. Should I be surprised or what? I knew it was him. Yeah. Yeah, we knew you knew. That I knew that you knew so well. What did that old raccoon do this time? Ibn was blackmailing him with something. That's what we wanted to ask you. I don't care about Wessler's dealings, Sonny. I patch up whoever uh. winds up here, and I don't care if they're cops or gangsters. Or gangster cops. Yeah, it's the same thing. Yeah, brother. Okay, so that's a So, now we have a new location, hopefully. We should have... Let's get this over with fast. I don't want any family drama. We're already in it up to our crest, Sonny. Okay. Oh, hold on, that's actually... We have notes. We have new notes. We have a new clue! Natasha, that was her name. The Insane Asylum. A secret twin. Wow. No. Mm. 
There we go. Still haven't found them. Got Boo Boho. Ursula frightens me. And then we have a picture of Albert, which we have no actual picture of. We have three new Oh, that was it. Now let's get the fuck out of here. Hotel Atlas. No, don't need to go anywhere. Yep, Hotel Atlas it is. We had a stiff we had break to now. gather ourselves, take a deep breath, and think over what we knew so far. What the chickens had I got myself into? What did I drag Marty into? Moreover, what had we pulled the whole city into? This was going to be one of those cases that changed things forever. But I wasn't worried about myself. It didn't matter to me. Too many pieces had been plucked off this old rooster. But Marty's different. He's too good of a bird and too good of a cop to end up like me. A secret twin brother? Sonny, I'm starting to feel like we're really in a detective novel. A cheap one. No shit, in black and white, you guys are animals, and you're talking in narration. Yeah, but, uh, listen, Marty. What is it, Boss Bird? I think it's best if we go our separate ways. What? Are you joking? I know you have a weak sense of humor, but there's a limit to everything. I'm not joking, Marty. Well, I certainly hope you are. Whatever comes next, you don't need to be mixed up in it. You have someone to go home to. And I have nothing except my retirement benefits whenever I retire. I really, he, Marty has nothing to live for. He's young, he has a girlfriend. I have nothing except for me, a bottle, and a gun. Guys, damn it, Sonny. Can you hear yourself? What do you think? I endured all this to give up now? What do you take me for? No, pal. You're not getting rid of me so easily. Maybe another burning boat ride. I just want you to keep your career and your life intact, you moron. Just accept it, shake my hand, and go home. Your wife, Laura, is waiting for you. One more word, Sonny, and I swear I'm gonna bash your beak in. I risked my life more than once tonight. You know why? Because you love me. No. Why? Because we're a team. We have been a team for almost a decade. I don't care what Blood Boil says or whatever's on a goddamn piece of paper. We're the chicken police, Sonny. And we always will be. I'm sorry. You're right. So why do I knock him out and just go my own separate ways? We're gonna go to that insane asylum and wrap this shit up fast and clean. Yeah, just like you said, even if it kills us. <laughs> oh, Thanks, yeah. Marty. Without you, I'd most likely already be sleeping the big sleep. And I'm not Birds of a use. feather flock together, right? <laughs> like you say, partner. Uh, let's drop this before you start crying on me, okay? Hey, I said sorry. Yeah, I hope not. You almost just did. I'm not crying, you're crying. Ah, clack off, Marty. That's the spirit, the Sonny I know and hate. Okay, let's look around the room. Anything else we can look for? Any new pictures? Okay, new there. What do you think, Marty? What? You care what I think? Not really. You must have hit your head pretty bad. Stop fooling around, Marty. I'm serious. So what do you... Well, I think we're in deep shit. But to be honest, Ibn Wessler is in deeper shit. Do you think he really murdered his brother? But why? And what does it have to do with Natasha and the threats? Yeah, it makes no goddamn sense. I'm not uh, saying any lines wrong. Yet. Something's missing. Let's visit the institution and try to find out what we can about this Albert Wessler fella. Exactly. If he's the dead body, oh, no, I can go there. we've got to know what the motive was. If we can't, and if he's still alive, we gotta ask him directly. And what do you think, Sonny? I think Ibn, Albert, and Natasha are the three key players in this case. Ibn, and that all of it Natasha. has something hmm. to do with the brothel. And the fact that Natasha used to be a... <clears throat> Hooker? Yeah. Courtesan? Oh, courtesan. Yeah, that too. Listen, Sonny, about Molly. Mm. Oh, just forget it, Marty, okay? She's not part of my life anymore. So Watch her exactly show up. what I'm gonna do. Forget it. 
Let's concentrate on the case and on making it out alive and helping Natasha, too. If she's still alive. Whatever you say, Boss Bird. So you think Natasha's really in danger? Or is she's the ringleader behind the entire thing? It could be. Or she could even be behind everything. As I just said. No, you don't believe that. I'm not sure what I believe, Marty. We've gone from threats to murder to... Almost murder... To finding out, you know... A lady who runs a brothel happens to be part of Secret Service. Oh, sorry, she was a spy at one point with the royal family. I mean, this is a whole spiral of weird shit going on here. Let's see. Things got mixed up at the brothel. That's true. Let's see. Uh, Neta Natasha. Painting piece. That's going, yeah, that's... Now talk a secret in... No. That's it! Why isn't it doing anything? Oh, that's why. Natasha was a custom before, and I've been trying to keep that a secret. If I was a secret spy for save us all that time, I worked at the problem. I just wanted to keep that a secret because she is. Huh. Natasha used to work there, that's obvious. And Ibn wanted to keep that a secret. Yes! Another clue, um, let me see, uh... What does Molly have... Molly's name? Nope, doesn't work. Person doesn't work either. Natasha's key? Meh. Ooh, the piece of paint, the painting piece. Damn it. Press pen? Really? A secret, it seems. Somebody else had to pay for. Zip didn't kill anyone. Press pen is the key and the evidence that Zip killed someone because I'm touches me. That one I can deal with. This one's Nobody obvious. died for that secret. Zip hid the body, but he kept the wristband. Oh, sad. We're doing it. We're connecting the dots, which means I need a drink. Eh. Oh, the control. There we go. Wesler's twin. That was obvious. Who could it belong to? Someone from the royal family. Even Wesler was just a puppet nip. Dead body with evil wrestlers and snap. Whole thing was just a hoax and zip is behind the app. Okay, look, it's the obvious answer. The dead body was almost certainly Albert Wessler. Because we a know this already. Of an insane asylum. But why did he have to die? That was all just very obvious. We, we just learned about this. Why did he need to investigate that? Why? So where exactly is this place? I don't know what I just asked you, I'm sorry. A few hours drive from here, in the middle of nowhere. It's a creepy old mansion, of course. Do you think it's a of good course, idea to go there? Of course, it's always a there? creepy inside of looking mansion. You no know, gothic design at all. I told you, you can still go back. Batman's, you know, Arkham Asylum, all the way to Nine on Elm Street, number three. That insane asylum. Seriously, every insane asylum has to look like a creepy gothic building. I don't know why, though. Huh, wouldn't you love that? No such luck, boss. If I get killed or locked up forever in an insane asylum, that's gonna be on you. I told you you could leave! Thanks, pal. I deserve that. Okay. Natasha. You still trust her? Not a lick. I never trusted her, Marty. I mean... You believe her? Not at I'm all. I'm sure she was honestly afraid. 
People don't fake it that easy. But I can understand why she didn't tell us about her uh, former profession. It was kind of touchy. Or how she knows Molly. Or how she knew me, who knows Molly, who was married to me and friends to her. It yeah, is weird. That too. And the death of Deborah complicated things even more. Who killed Deborah, though? Hey, Sonny, she. She didn't seduce you, right? I mean, Natasha. Um. She tried? Ah, don't be stupid, Monty. My old ticker hasn't been beating for a long time. Not that way, anyway. Right. Yep, yeah, all right, boss. Call for the response. So what do you think happened to the corpse? Probably been eaten. Horrible to think about, but even if half of what they say about the hive is true, starvation, riots, arson, predation. Bees. You're telling me. Makes my feathers stand on end when I think about what goes on in there. And we pretend we don't know about it. As if Roachtown isn't even part of Clawville. It's Roachville? This won't end well. I'm afraid soon Clawville's gonna burn once again. And because of its own foolishness. Well, that's if another meat war doesn't break out first. Because then meat the war? whole wilderness will burn. Lovely prospect, eh? Either way, it was a damn clever move for Wessler to hide the body in Roachtown. I want to have a look there. Maybe hidden in a Roach Motel. It's the only place no one will ever find it. Like the belly of a burning ship. Oh, I think that was an intentional red herring. Sounds about right. The jokes in this are bad. Maybe some of the lines are pretty corny. I love it! Okay, what about Who'd have thought? I believed that little rat. I thought he changed. Idiot. There's a point when it's too late to change, Marty. His past caught up with him. Whatever he did since then doesn't matter. Not much. Exactly. And that's the case with us, too. That's why I won't back down. Even though a voice in my head is screaming right now, leave it all to hell and have another drink. Maybe we should do that. Maybe we should. I don't like the way he said that. Well, anyways, friends, I think that's what we'll leave it today. Oh, uh, huge lore dump. I mean, we did a little bit of investigating, but questioning, finding out what the hell's going on, there are still some pieces of the puzzle that don't make sense. That things that just aren't quite connecting. I'm gonna turn the light off. Hold on. Eek. Eek. Things that don't quite make sense. Like, we just learned about Ibn's twin brother that lives in an asylum, apparently, who might be dead due to the wristband that Zip had stolen. Zip is not a smart person. And he hid the body in Roach Town. Ew, even by my standards, that's just gross. But how is Natasha involved in all this? How is the royal family involved? What could bring the end of this entire city and our way of life in this game? Why do we stumble into the biggest mystery wrapped around an enigma wrapped inside of another question? This game has more questions than it does answers. I like it. It's a fun puzzle. It is a mystery, a noir-style mystery that I do love. But God... Damn, things escalated quickly. Ask a few questions here. Find yourself on a burning boat. Rescued by a doctor who hates his job and is married to a bear. I still don't see how that works, but till we throw. Anyways, friends, that's all I have for you today. Stay tuned for the next episode. Once again, we are finishing this game this week. So, depending on how long it goes for, it can either go for the next two, three days. It can go until Saturday, for all I know. This game is weird. And if you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe. Definitely subscribe to this so you can see the rest of this game. I'm curious to see where this game goes. The review is going to be a pain in my ass to write, but you know it? It's worth it. Yeah, it's totally worth it. So, friends, I have been your humble curator, and until next time, 
Signing off.